I am a girl with Asperger's syndrome. I'm the Aspie girl. Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be listing my favorite shows from when I was little. Back in the day, I mainly watched either Disney Junior, Playhouse Disney at the time, or Nick Junior, Noggin at the time. Let's get into the video. The first show I watched when I was little was Barney and Friends. Yes, this show is annoying, but for some reason I really liked it when I was little. At first, I thought Baby Bop and BJ were Barney's kids. Like, Baby Bop was his daughter and BJ was his son. Another show I watched was The Big Comfy Couch. I don't remember why I liked this show. Maybe it's because my older siblings liked it and they influenced me to like it too? I don't know. I even had a lunette doll that I absolutely loved. I remember bringing it everywhere I went. The next show I watched was Little Bear. I loved it because a lot of kids loved it. It was a big hit. The next show I watched was Franklin. Again, it was a big hit and I really liked it. The next show I watched was Blue's Clues. Now this show is a true classic. And it's such a cute show with adorable characters. My favorite character was Periwinkle because I loved cats. I'm actually wondering something. How can salt and pepper make paprika and cinnamon? Although the majority of you are upset about Steve leaving the show and being replaced with Joe, I didn't really mind the change all that much, to be honest. The only thing I didn't like about this show is that they just had to sing every time something happened. For example, they would sing just because they got something in the mail, or something like that. The next show I'll be listing is Bear in the Big Blue House. Again, I don't remember why I watched this show. I think it's because my siblings liked it and they made me like it too. To be honest, I think Bear looks like a golden retriever in a way. Don't they look alike? Bear had the loving temperament of a golden retriever too. Now, whenever I see Bear, I see a golden retriever. The next show I'll be listing is Rolly Pulley Oli. Now, I loved this show when I was really little because it was such a big hit back then. I remember this being one of my first ever favorite shows. The next show I'll be listing is Little Bill. I love how they made a show like Everybody Hates Chris, but for preschoolers. Bill Cosby is very talented. The next show I watched was Max and Ruby. I just found this show to be entertaining when I was younger. However, I have always wondered something about this show. Where were Max and Ruby's parents? Also, why did Max say one word phrases instead of full sentences? Did he have autism? The next show I'll be listing is Jojo Circus. Again, I love this show because it was a big hit. The next show I'll be listing is The Koala Brothers. This show was so sweet and heartwarming because it was mainly focused on helping others and just being kind. My favorite character was Josie because she was just so sweet. The next show I'll be listing is The Backyardigans. I love how there was a different setting in each episode. My favorite character was Austin because like Josie from the Koala Brothers, he was just so sweet and he liked helping others. For that reason, my favorite episodes were Castaways and Race Around the World. However, my least favorite character was Tasha because she was rude and she was a brat. And the last show I will be listing is Wonder Pets. I love this show because they promoted teamwork. I also love the idea of small animals being superheroes. Now let's get on to the shows I hated when I was little. First off, I hated Teletubbies because I just found it too annoying to enjoy. I also hated Dragon Tales because I didn't like dragons when I was little. I also didn't like Dora the Explorer because 
Not only was it annoying, but it was very repetitive. It did the same thing over and over again. And lastly, I didn't like the Upside Down show because all it was was two men acting like idiots. Puppet was the smart one compared to Shane and David. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me list my childhood favorite shows. Today's generation of kids have no idea what they're missing out on. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos on my channel. I post a new video every Friday. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, feel free to comment down below which shows you watched when you were little. Thank you for watching. Bye.